A particle P is moving along a straight line with constant acceleration, initially at O. After 10 seconds, P is at the point A, where OA is 20 metres, see the diagram, and the velocity of P at A is 6 metres per second in the direction OA. A. Show that the initial speed of P is 2 metres per second. 2. Find the acceleration of P. B is the point on the line such that OB is 3 metres, as shown in the diagram. Show that P is never at B. So we've got a particle which is going to start here. So, using the diagram, we know that OA, we're going to make OA positive displacement and then OB negative displacement. We know that T is zero at the origin, and here T is 10 seconds, and the velocity is 6 metres per second, and S is 20 metres. So what we've got to find is maybe the initial velocity and the acceleration. We know it's a constant acceleration. So using S is equal to UT plus a half AT squared, and remember you can only use Suvat equations if the acceleration is a constant. At A, at A, S is 20 metres, and U we don't know, so, and but we know that the time is 10, so it's going to be 10 U, UT, plus a half of A times 10 squared, which will give me that 10 U, and a half of 100 is 50, 50 A is equal to 20, we'll call that equation 1. We also know that the velocity is equal to U plus A T, and the velocity when T is at 10 is 6 metres per second, so we can say that 6 is going to be equal to U plus A T times 10, and we're going to times that by 10. The reason for times it by 10 is I want to make the U's the same. So times it by 10, I'm going to get 10u plus 100a is equal to 60. Right, we're going to look at that, call that one equation 2. Now if we do 2 take 1, we're going to get 10u take away 10u, which is nothing. 100a minus 50a is going to give me 50a, and 60 minus 20, which is 40, which will give me that the acceleration is 4 fifths metres per second squared. If we substitute this in 2 equation 2, but I'm going to use this one over here rather than this one. I'm going to get that 6 is u plus 4 fifths of 10. The 5 and the 10 will cancel, and that will give me that u will be equal to minus 2 meters per second, because we're going to have 2 times 4, which is 8. When we do 6 minus 8, we're going to get minus 2. We're asked for the speed. The speed is just going to be the magnitude of u, which in this case is just going to be 2 meters per second and the acceleration we've already found to be four fifths meters per second squared right now we've got to show that this particle will never actually get to b so using the same diagram again oa is positive um, displacement and ob is negative displacement okay s here will therefore be minus three meters and the initial velocity will be minus two meters per second squared and A is 4 fifths metres per second. Now, if it's going to move down here and never get here, at some stage the velocity here will be equal to 0. So if we use V is equal to U plus AT, and then if the particle P changes direction, if V is 0 and then V goes from either negative to positive, in this case that's what we want it to happen, so we'll say that 0 is going to be equal to minus 2 plus 4 fifths T, Solving that, we're going to get the 2 is 4 fifths t, and that t will be equal to 2.5, 5 times 10 divided by 4, which is 10 over 4. Or 2.5. So, using s is equal to ut plus a half a t squared, when t is equal to 2.5, we're going to have minus 2, the initial velocity, times the time which is 2.5 or 5 over 2 plus a half times the acceleration which is 4 fifths times 5 over 2 squared and that will give you that the displacement at that time will be 2.5 so therefore we can say as t was um, as minus 2.5 is less than 3 then the particle was never going to get to b because at that particular point it's going to change direction and come back up here now I have an app 
to uh, show you this. Uh, the app will be in the notes of this video, the link. Um, I hope you've understood this video and I thank you very much for watching. And maybe you could consider subscribing to my channel where you'll find thousands of videos to help you with A-Level Maths. Thank you very much.